today I'm going to be showing you a simple way of creating an awesome commercial photography for a serial company. Let's dive right into it. What I have here is just a table for my platform and I have another bigger board just to make extend the platform and so let's do it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up what I want to do is I want the picture to be very bright, very inviting and so I'm going to use a lot of reflectors or bounce lighting and going to use some motivated light. I'm going to be using the Godox VL220. That's what's lighting up the room right now. And so when we are ready to bring it in, I'll show you what it looks like. So stay tuned. Next, I have a couple of stunts that I'm going to set up. This is going to help hold my background in place. The next thing I want to do is start setting up my background. These are clips I got from the hardware store. And so you can just go to the hardware store, buy them. And yeah. And I also got these from the dollar store. The goal of the orange is to make the cereal pop, that's why I went with an orange color. And so, what I have right now is my base, a simple backdrop, just holding the color. I bought two of these from the dollar store because, yeah, I just wanted to create some flow. Now I have to be careful that because I'm holding them with a clip, this line here is going to be a hard line when I photograph it. So I'm going to make sure that I either avoid it or I'm very careful with my shots so that when I photograph, I can easily use Lightroom to pick out the line or the hard edges. Now that you've seen what the setup looks like, let's come closer a little bit. I'm going to be using the Godox VL200 as my motivated light. And let me see. And the reason why it's called the reason why it's called a motivated light is because I'm trying to simulate the sun. This is my light, and I'm going to bend it down slightly like this Let me make sure that it hits and it bunches right on okay. What I'm doing here right now is I am shining my light on the cereal a little indirectly and so because I have the reflector on the light, it's reflecting some of the light here but then it's also bouncing on the reflector and then the reflector will bounce it back to the cereal and so I have my shadows covered on this side. If I increase, I'm going to increase the lights to about 100. And that will take away some of the shadows over here because you have more light reflecting here. But because I want you to see this, I have to decrease the light so that you can see the same. Let's go back right into it. So what I have here is I filled this bowl with some cereal and then I just poured it in and Okay, next I'm just going to shoot a bowl of cereal and so let's see, could 
put this beside it just to give it some flair. Now, in this case, the, the people are going to be eating the cereal, not the box. The box is, in this case now, is just to add some depth to the image and make it look more pleasing. But the main focus is the cereal. Let's do it. <coughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Catch you another day. Until then. See ya.